The President, please be seated. The court is now in session. Before we give the floor to the Civil Party Lawyer Group 4, Avant de donner la parole à l'avocat du groupe 4, the trial chamber would like la to inform to the parties concerning the agenda for trial management annonce meeting. du jour pour la réunion de mise en état de demain. Tomorrow, on the 11th of June 2009, starting from 9 a.m. here at the courtroom. The following items are the agenda. Voici les points de l'ordre du jour. Number one, un. estimated duration of the trial proceedings. Durée estimative de la durée du procès. Starting from the time we meet during the management, a trial management meeting until December 2009. Number two. Depuis the problems over availability of lawyers for the parties and staff Deuxième and administration issues. Lié à la disponibilité des avocats des parties et question de personnel ou d'ordre administratif. Number three. Troisièmement. The sitting hours. Horaire de la chambre. Number four. Quatrièmement. Trial recesses. Les pauses judiciaires. Trial recesses, including the public holiday that uh, the trial chamber will not be sitting. Jours fériés pendant lesquels. Or during the plenary session. La chambre ne siégera pas ou that, encore. Uh, the trial chamber may not be sitting. Number five. Date pour laquelle elle ne peut pas du the fait de of rule 87.3 and 87.4. Dans l'Assemblée des juges. Uh, 5. Une directrice concernant la mise en œuvre As, de la procédure uh, prévue à la règle 87. Et un amendement six, procé uh, modification proposée par le secteur 87. 6. Temps accordé aux partis civils pour leurs interventions. That the chamber has decided according to the parties who are to present uh, uh, their statements before the chamber. Number seven, any other matters as needed. So item number seven will be reserved for other matters that may arise apart from the six said items. And the purpose of uh, the trial management meeting L'objet de cette réunion de mise en état est to make sure that we can proceed uh, more expeditiously in uh, the proceedings as much as we can. And in order to be clear, I would like to give the floor to Judge Sylvia Cartwright to emphasize further on the items of the agenda in English because during the discussion um, the time was short so uh, she may wish to also uh, emphasize further in English. Thank you, Mr. President. I think that the English was reasonably clear, but I will just go back over the topics on the agenda uh, and perhaps mention one matter that, um, uh, for information of the parties, there will be a swearing-in at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning 
and then the trial management meeting will convene. Um, but it will be a very short um, swearing in of an investigator. So please be here at 9 a.m. and ready to proceed with the trial management meeting. So the list of topics for the trial management meeting are as follows. The estimated duration of the trial proceedings. Secondly, discussion of any problems over availability of lawyers for the parties and discussion with the administration over staff and administration issues. Thirdly, sitting days for trial recesses. Five, guidelines on the implementation of Rule 83.3 and Rule 87.6. This is a reference to a proposal for an amendment that has been put by the trial chamber, and uh, we will need to expand on this tomorrow. Six, allocation of time for presentations by civil parties, and seven, any other matters that uh, lawyers for the parties may wish to raise. I hope that's now clear in English and in Khmer. Thank you, Mr. President. The President, Judge Lavagne, you take the floor. Just one clarification concerning point three of the agenda, which in French was translated as uh, the, the schedule, the hour schedule. In fact, uh, we're speaking about the days when uh, the chamber will convene, not just about uh, the hours. The President, uh, Mr. co prosecutor you take the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. President, if, if possible, would the uh, proposed amendment to Rule 87 be able to be provided uh, through the graphias uh, to the parties um, before we leave today or at the end of the day? The reason why I say that is that it might help us align our ideas with the direction that the trial chamber is heading so that we can offer something as effective as possible tomorrow. Uh, the floor is your, uh, Mrs. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. There is the addition of one phrase to Rule 87.3. The new phrase is or appropriately identified in court. So you will see in the second last sentence of the main part of three, that currently evidence from the case file is considered put before the chamber if its, if its content has been summarized or read out in court. The proposal by the trial chamber is that the last part of the sentence will read if its content has been summarized, read out, or appropriately identified in court. That is the only change to 87.3. There is also a proposal for an amendment which would become 87.6. A new provision. This reads where the co prosecutors 
and the accused agree si les coprocureurs et l'accusé en sont d'accord that alleged facts contained sont d'accord in the indictment sur le fait que les faits allégués contenus dans l'ordonnance de renvoi contested. ne sont pas contestés the chamber may consider la chambre such facts as proven comme établi Do you need that repeated? Will you repeat? Um, no, thank you, Your Honor. That's very. Non, merci, Madame la Juge. Je vous remercie. I need to stress that this is a proposal. It is not yet an amended rule, and that the rule 87 has not yet been modified. Okay, no. Mr. President, Mr. Alain Werner, we know Maître your presence. Werner, the floor is yours. Je vous en prie. Thank you, Mr. President. Could I request, as far as to understand clearly, one clarification on the point six? My understanding in English is allocation of time by presentation by civil parties. Are we talking about the fact that our civil parties, some of our civil parties, are going to testify in court, or the fact that the lawyers are asking questions? The, 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 the um, number six in the agenda relates to the first, that is the time allocated for civil parties personally to make their presentations. I'm grateful for this the next proceedings is about uh, the questionings again uh, to the accused. So, Mr. Hong Kong Soon, you can now proceed uh, with the questions to the accused. So, how much time do you think uh, you would need uh, to put for the questions to the accused? Mr. Hong Kong Soon, thank you, Mr. President. I have only one last question. And I would like imposée. the accused to briefly respond to my question. So if he doesn't know, he just say Donc, si no or yes. réponse, The question is, me le dise. La when question it comes to the document uh, of uh, Mr. Nayan Chanda, and I would like to pinpoint one passage uh, stated on page 241 in Khmer, à la page 241 dans la version document D91-1, document D91-1. Here, uh, the ER and reference number is 0019-1. My question here is Ma question est ici related to the arm conflict. Est ici lié au conflit On that page, it is about the relationship page, that led to the conflict between Vietnam and uh, Cambodia and so weird. And China were also involved. I don't know whether it is accurate that the Khmer translation of Nayan Chanda is that uh, si la traduction de Nayan Chanda of, uh, the, the content. Do you know that uh, Vietnam broadcast in 1978 uh, accusing China of uh, using uh, Cambodia for the the uh, to cause the conflict uh, with uh, Vietnam? Comme étant à l'origine du conflit entre le Vietnam et le Cambodge uh, par the voie radiodiffusée. Uh, L'accusé, Maître Kamsun, pouvez-vous reposer votre question clairement en précisant la date uh, à laquelle vous faites référence Mr. Hong Soon, it is on the 21st of February 1978, and it was broadcast on Hanoi Radio. 
78, Mr. s'il s'agissait d'une radiodiffusion sur Radio Anaria. Mr. President, actually, I did not listen mm. to that radio broadcast. En fait, je n'ai pas The war was entendu, open. je n'ai pas écouté so cette euh, émission radiophonique. Uh, on radio broadcast was common because when the war broke par out. voix radiodiffusée était you, une Mr. chose President. qui était no communément pratiquée à l'époque. Maître Hong Kim-soon, je vous remercie, Mr. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai pas, j'ai plus de questions à poser like pour la, to give the floor le Président. Je vais maintenant passer la parole three. au co-avocat des partis civils du groupe numéro 3. Je, je vous en prie. Monsieur le Président, Monsieur le Président Mr. President, Mesdames, Messieurs de la Chambre, your honors, euh, compte tenu du given panorama the scope, très utile et the very complet, qui apparaît maintenant that, uh, sur cette période uh, du conflit armé, conflict, compte tenu aussi uh, du fait que les droits des victimes that, uh, uh, ne sont nullement remis en cause par les réponses qui ont été apportées, je parle au regard des incriminations uh, retenues dans les poursuites, et compte tenu And du fait que... Fact, uh, uh, that, uh, le groupe numéro 3 n'entend group pas euh, allonger inutilement les débats. Nous ne posons pas de questions uh, sur, cette, uh, sur will, ce thème du conflit. Nous ne posons pas de questions aux accusés sur ce thème du conflit. Monsieur le Président, merci. Monsieur le Lawyer, je voudrais maintenant donner la parole au civil parti. Souhaite maintenant donner la parole Lawyer Group au co-avocat du deuxième groupe des partis civils. Je souhaite poser des questions à l'accusé. Je vous en prie, allez-y. Thank you, Mr. President. The same for civil for our group. We will. We have no questions which are related directly to the armed conflict and other questions which could be asked um, on functioning or other items. Thank you. 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 We would like to give the floor to the civil party lawyers for group number one. We have no questions, Mr. President. Thank you. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Pas de questions en ce qui nous concerne. Je vous remercie. The President, thank you, Mr. Alang Wengner. Next, I would like to give the floor to the defense counsel. If you would wish to put questions to the accused, so awkward. Mr. Kasavut, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Kasavut, je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. The defense counsel notes that Mrs. Cartwright already asked questions significantly that we believe that we have no further questions to put to the accused rather than a repetitious question, so we are not making any questions. What about the defense counsel, the international co-lawyer? Je souhaite passer la parole à ma consoeur. President, the floor is yours. Vous avez la parole. Je vous remercie, Ms. Monsieur Kenny le Président. Thank la you, Mr. President. n'a pas de questions à poser sur ce point particulier. La défense n'a pas de questions à poser sur ce point particulier. La défense n'a pas de questions à poser sur ce point particulier. Is there any judges of the bench who would wish to put further questions to the accused? Madame et Monsieur les juges, à poser d'autres questions s'il le souhaite. Without further questions, I would like to have some questions to the accused. J'aimerais poser d'autres questions à l'accusé. You said. Paul Port 
Vous avez dit que Used the 6 of January 1976 as the anniversary for the victory over the Vietnamese army. Pour célébrer la victoire sur l'armée Did you say so? The accused. Mr. President, of course, I have mentioned about it, and it is true. Bien sûr, Monsieur le Président, j'en ai parlé, et c'est vrai. The President, le Président, can you tell the court dire, what was the reason behind the use of uh, that date for the anniversary de of the victory over the Vietnamese troops? The accused, Mr. President, before the 6th of January, na a Vietnamese troop invaded deep inside into Cambodia's territory, and the Khmer Rouge army uh, drove them back. And that's why uh, on the 6th of January there was a big rally to commemorate uh, the victory. Mr. President, ces troupes ont été repoussées par l'armée révolutionnaire du Cambodge. Are you aware of the invasion of the Khmer Rouge army in 1975? Mr. President, there is no actual document to support such a statement. There is no actual document to support such a statement, so I am not in the position to make any further comments regarding that matter. The President, have you ever received any information concerning that matter? Because we observed that when we talk about the armed conflict between Cambodia and Vietnam, and number two, you said that there were some kind of counter-attack. So in Khmer, it can be understood that when you with your expression that counter-attack, it means someone fought and then someone fought back. So, pour dire through que my observation, it is that uh, une autre, puis de when Vietnamese vers, people uh, were arrested and the three categories of the Vietnamese people who were arrested and sent to S21, uh, which uh, include uh, some people who were arrested uh, in Vietnamese territory. That's why uh, the term conflict attracts us because uh, it, it's what we call the counter-attack. The accused, thank you, Mr. President, among the 17 people in the list this morning, I know that five of them, uh, I acknowledge that uh, were arrested from Vietnamese territory. However, regarding the operation, military operation of the Khmer Rouge troops into the Vietnamese territory, I think I don't think I have obtained any information, although I attended uh, a, a session with Pol Pot in 1978 that uh, to protect our land is to uh, attack Unlock and Wen Ling. So that's why I said that there was a counter-attack, and I did not know how far the Vietnamese Troops uh, intruded into Cambodia territory. Dans quelle mesure les troupes vietnamiennes étaient entrées dans le territoire cambodgien? The president, thank you. Quelle était la distance qu'ils avaient pénétré dans le territoire cambodgien? Le président. Concerning the armed conflict comes to an end. And sujet du thème portant sur although le conflit, we have not heard the thème, two witnesses, pas according to the delay in the discussion, we have already informed Nous the public and the parties that, that, that parties those two witnesses will be summoned again in the fact concerning the operation of S-21 and the Chung Ag at appropriate time, and the Chamber will notify the parties about this. The Chamber would like to also inform to the parties to the proceedings that 
de la date à laquelle ces personnes seront entendues. Nous souhaitons informer les parties adjourned, que and, uh, nous séjournons. The session will be resumed l'audience pour aujourd'hui. On the nous reprendrons of June 2009. And the next fact at issue will be the operation of S21 and uh, including Jung Ag. So please be informed. For tomorrow's session, there will be a trial management meeting because there has been several issues that uh, we need to discuss in details of how we can manage uh, the future proceedings and what would be the best solution to expedite the proceedings. So we would like to pronounce that the today hearing is adjourned. And parties to the proceedings are invited to attend tomorrow trial management meeting as scheduled. The public is not advised uh, to come because tomorrow it is not the public session for the public. It is more about technical mechanisms for the trial to proceed expeditiously and it is not necessary that uh, the party, uh, that the public are uh, invited. So qui présente un intérêt pour le public. Alors, les personnels de sécurité, s'il vous plaît, prenez les accusés à la détention de la sécurité et les emmener au centre de détention et de le ramener ici demain.